Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of caladocal cyst. This is an interesting case as this patient had already developed complications. An 8-year-old boy came with recurrent right upper abdominal pain, fever, and jaundice. These three findings are called the charcot triad of cholangitis. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the ultrasound image of right hypochondriac region showing a gallbladder and some cystic spaces adjacent to it. The gallbladder wall is thickened and you can see some sediments within the lumen. This might be slurs or inflammatory debris. You can see the common bile duct adjacent to the gallbladder is dilated. I'm comparing the liver echogenicity with the adjacent renal echogenicity. The liver echogenicity almost looked normal, but we didn't like the echo texture. We'll jump into that part later. You can see the gallbladder again and this cystic space adjacent to gallbladder. Now this is the part of pancreas. There is nothing abnormality within the pancreas, fortunately. This area is the gallbladder. And when we are jumping into the common bile duct now, you can see a dilated cystic area. This dilated anechoic cystic area is communicating with the common bile duct. The proximal part of common bile duct to this cystic space is dilated. But the distal part opening into the ampulla batter looks normal. So this fusiform cystic dilated area attached to the distal common bile duct is the caladocal cyst. Now when we looked at the liver parenchyma, you can see it looks slightly heterogeneous. You can see a lot of hyperechoic foci. These are the thickened echogenic intrahepatic bile ducts. You can see a slight periportal cuffing also which indicates surrounding inflammatory process. These features go in favor of cholangitis. But to evaluate more, we want to go with high frequency linear transducer view. Here's the high frequency view of the part of liver. If you look at the hepatic parenchyma, you can see a lot of hyperechoic linear areas. These are the thickened echogenic wall of intrahepatic biliary tree, which is a common feature of acute cholangitis. Here's the picture, you can see the common bile duct proximal to the cystic space is dilated. The cystic area is a fusiform dilatation of the common bile duct and distal to this cystic space looks quite normal. Again another picture and you can see the cystic dilatation of the common bile duct indicating the caladocal cyst. You can see a periportal lymph node here also. Another picture of the measurement of the fusiform dilated part that is the caladocal cyst and the gallbladder wall is thickened. You can see the sediment here. So in summary, a focal fusiform dilated anechoic cystic lesion with posterior acoustic enhancement communicating with the distal part of the common bile duct and separated from the gallbladder is noted. The common bile duct proximal to this cystic area is dilated also. There is no pancreatic biliary junction abnormality, so this feature suggests it as a case of caldical cyst of type 1b. There is also thickening and increased echogenicity of the intrahepatic bile duct walls, which goes in favor of acute cholangitis. There is also reactionary thickened gallbladder wall with luminal hypoechoic slurs or debris, indicating reactionary cholecystitis. 
Now the take home message. In case of cholecystic cyst, reporting the condition of proximal and distal ductal parts may help clinician classify the lesion type. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.